I headed out early to the rock world this morning, catching herring on some soft plastics and setting them out as live baits. I was using a 6,000 bait runner, had 40 pound braid and I had it connected to a three-way swivel with about a metre to two snelled hooks. They were 70 live bait hooks. I was setting them out unweighted but I had a loop knot where I could add on any sinker. The benefit of using a bait runner is you can set two levels of drag. So you, you flick across the switch and you've got low drag. That allows the fish to be able to swallow the whole bait and run off with it without knowing that there's line or hooks attached. Once you hear the line stripping off the, the reel, you can run over, give it a few seconds and then flick it into gear and that will set the heavy drag and hopefully set the hooks for you as well. If you're using J hooks or live bait hooks, you still have to give a pretty decent strike. To catch the herring, I was just using old soft plastics. I had an old bag of Samaki grubs, which seemed to work pretty well. Any sort of grub or fish imitation is fine. I was using a size 1, uh, 112 jig head. Anything from sort of 1 8 to 1 20th is fine, but you just got to remember the lighter the jig head, the less casting distance you have and the longer it takes to sink. I think 1 12th is good because you can still cast it fairly far when you're using 4 pound line and it's got a good sink rate. If you're casting from a jetty or up a bit higher, you probably want to go to 1 8th or 1 6th. I went out fishing last minute so I didn't actually have any burly prepared. So I just took a few slices of bread, which seemed to bring him in, but also sent the blowies bloody crazy. Always keeping the rod aim down towards the water, just so the herring don't breach and shake out your hook. As you can see, they come off pretty easy. Give it time to sink and then start working it. You don't need huge hops, you just want to give it a little bit of action. After no luck with the two live baits, I chucked on uh, half a herring and I added a small snapper sinker onto the three wave swivel just to get it down a bit lower. Fresh bait is always the best. I had to quickly try and wind in my other line because it was going to get tangled up and then I would have been really stuffed. I just had to maintain pressure on the fish while quickly winding in my other line. Whatever was on the end of a line, it was bloody heavy. It was sticking to the bottom. I always thought it was either a fish caught up in a shitload of weed, but most likely a ray or some type of shark. This went for a while, so I've cut this video down a lot and sped up some portions. Basically, just pumping and winding. It took me quite a while just to get it off the floor. I had to set the drag quite heavy and really tested my knots. Lucky there wasn't that many people out today, because I had to move my way around the rock wall quite far.
like pulling up a bloody wet mattress. He was a big bastard, and there was no chance I was going to be able to pull him up on the rocks by myself. My granddad also got stung by a barb once, and he said it was the most painful thing he's ever had happen to him, so I wasn't going to take any chances. After admiring the beast for a few minutes, I cut him free. For more Perth-based fishing, please subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section.